Hi everyone, the Atari 2600 was a weird console. There weren't really any restrictions or standards. It was the Wild West of gaming. So a lot of weird games came out. A lot of promotional games came out. Companies thought they could reach out to a younger audience by putting something out in this new medium. So we're gonna explore five of the weirdest promotional games. These could be for movies or bands or dog food. I'm here with Chatterack today, and we are going to play these games a uh, minute a pop. So we're just going to get the, the weirdest first impressions and move on. So let's get into this. So this one is Revenge of the Beefsteak Tomatoes. Beefsteak Tomatoes? It's based off of a movie I've never seen, but I've heard this game is insane. I already don't know what's going on. So you're the purple thing. I'm the purple thing. I guess you're which, supposed to get the. You just destroy the tomato. I can shoot, so maybe I'm a plane. Maybe I'm a car. Maybe I'm a person. And oh, you look like a syringe. Maybe I'm a syringe. I mean, I, I don't know what you're supposed to be. I I think I'm supposed to just shoot the tomatoes. And what about those tomato plants? Is that what those are? I guess maybe they're shooting at me, but also they can kill tomatoes. Are they a neutral party? <laughs> uh, this seems very... Are, are they even plants? Wow, a kamikaze <laughs> tomato. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Oh, why does this exist? Alright, tooth protectors from Johnson & Johnson. Is this a real thing? This is a real thing. This was distributed as a campaign from Johnson & Johnson and Johnson to get people to brush their teeth. Seems legit. By giving them nightmares, it seems. Oh. <laughs> that, I don't think was so, intentional. So, so there's little happy green guys that live inside my face. Yeah, yeah, and, and they prevent ghosts from dropping bullets onto your teeth. It kind of looks like they're pooping on my teeth. Well, the I mean, it's important to know that your teeth are uniformly distributed and have perfect rectangular uh, gaps between uh, them. I, I know I don't have perfect teeth, but I, I don't know anyone with gaps like that between their teeth. <laughs> um, I think they already have some other issues. Issues may be greater than the Kool-Aid Man. I, I think I had this game on my calculator. Okay, that's it for this one. So this is Journey Escape. This looks nice. Yeah, it's it's the band. So let's oh. So we are maybe someone from Journey. Um, I see the lights. We are being attacked by decapitated heads, walking hearts, and what? trophies that. Oh, what is Pumpkin Man? Pumpkin yeah, Man. That that that, that squish guy kind of looks like that one that Western works. game. Like with the cowboy, or you oh. went over and oh, no. like the naked girl on the cactus. I have fifty thousand dollars, and I am just tripping. Are you to things? I don't know. The enemies don't uh, don't hurt you; they just push you. Uh, are those enemies? I mean, I I, just, oh, I'm losing money. I, I guess this is the uh, time. Uh, I only have a minute. You have five seconds left. Oh. So, Chase the Chuck Wagon, a game produced by Purina, I think. Yeah, you could only get this through uh, sending in proofs of purchases from dog food. It looks like a diseased Pac-Man. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you're definitely a dog, and you definitely have to get to a covered wagon for some reason. Uh, is no! a checkered wagon? I don't know, but... Isn't that part of the name? <laughs> you're dodging an insane gray man. Um, oh. Is that a Petri dish? Maybe this is food. Maybe, oh, no. Well, you missed it. Um, the frizzle. <laughs> I can't move. Oh. It's a cutscene. And... Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a bonus game? Oh. Different level. Different enemies. There's a cat Terrifying trying to just kill you. Cat mask. Oh no! Well, this seems pretty legit. So this is the A-Team video game, based off of the 1980s TV series. And 
and you are just the disembodied head of Mr. T. Do you just like go around using your pity the fool? I don't like, know. You definitely have to. Oh, oh, people are dying. You definitely have to avoid whatever frisbees uh, the Riddler is dropping on you. <laughs> and you can you can shoot bullets from your eyes. If, like, I, if I can't trick the Batman, maybe I can trick Mr. T. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. A lot of people are dying. Though. A lot of people are dying. I'm pretty sure. I think sure. you're supposed to use your eye beams to stop the the things he's dropping. I mean, maybe. Oh. Oh. What is... Okay. So, I've upgraded two tornadoes for my eyes. It doesn't want to come. Ah. And then you get attacked, you turn it. If you like what you saw, subscribe, like, or comment. And if you want to see more of my friend Shadrach, click on his face. There'll be a link to his channel. Bye, everyone.